Once a year, thousands of people get together for family reunions, vacations, and bike rallies. But for the 45th annual National Bikers Roundup, this was simply homecoming. A great migration, if you will, where people ride their bikes and load up their tents or gas up their RVs to attend what would be one epic get together. I decided to take the Road King today as it is a little bit more nimble and definitely faster with its 110 motor. And being that I was late to the party, I hopped on my bike and headed to Gonzales, Louisiana. I had to fight the traffic so I took a shortcut to get me back on track. And as I rode along on the highway, I saw plenty of bikes going and coming, either to the Roundup or most likely New Orleans to visit world famous Bourbon Street. I was quickly reminded of why I take my road glide on the highways, because those little droplets of death called raindrops started coming down and I just prayed that I didn't have to endure the downpour that I was smacked with while I headed to my trip to Canada. But I was spared and soon made it to the campgrounds where the employees were taking tickets and I showed my armband to enter. It's a special kind of energy you feel when you finally show up and everyone embraces you and your safe arrival. So I'm at the 45th annual National Bikers Roundup out here in Gonzales, Louisiana. And they got everything you can want out here right now. They got a lot, plenty of bikes, plenty of people. It's just a good time. We about to see what it's hitting, hitting for right now, y'all. Ronda was full of vendors, big and small, hoping to make some money from the influx of dollars coming in. From food and beverage to patch of soap, amongst other items. The best part for me is the bikes and the people.
shit all nasty. Shelf out there. Look at that. One hey, shelf. Hey, hey, look. Hey, one shelf. He ain't the only one not to cook. Let me know how dogs are that last cooler. Pop that up, Crisco. Bucks, 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 Pop Bucks, this up, Chris. Both of them. Bucks said you, you burning the, uh, the, the hot dog. Hot dog. Got a little sausage in there. I'm going to use it for the shrimp. Bust them on, Crisco. Huh? <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs> hey, uh. After fellowshipping and grabbing a bite to eat with my brothers, they took me back to my bike, where I rolled around the campgrounds and ran into some of my followers. I always take the time out to talk and greet them because they are definitely who I do this for. And I'll never take that for granted. And as long as I continue that, that things will continue to thrive for me. How you doing? I'm good, bro. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm, well, besides me following you, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I even took up one of your things. Go and take me uh, pictures of mirrors. mirrors and stuff like that. When I, when I rolled down from Grand Rapids to Dallas, yeah. that's what I was doing. Go that's what I was doing. And as the hours started passing, more and more people started to come outside, like when the car alarm is set off. But the only sirens here were those from the squeal of tires and the howling of exhaust. It's always a great thing when people can get together for a good time and share in the joy, love, and excitement of brotherhood and sisterhood. Until next time, this is GQ, the leader of the Peace Army, telling you guys to be safe, be cool, be you, and peace out until we meet again. Oh, and if you haven't, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel, and drop a comment.